Medicare Advantage Comparisons Hi, I'm Kevin Canals, a health insurance agent in California. And some counties will have 10 or 15 different Medicare Advantage plans to choose from. And it can be overwhelming and all the plans kind of look the same. So I like to do a comparison. I create a spreadsheet. Now, Medicare.gov is a great resource for finding out what plans are available in your area, the costs and the benefits associated with those plans. And you can do a side-by-side -side comparison. But sometimes I don't like looking at that stuff on a computer screen. I like to look at on it on paper because that's how I make decisions. I can sleep on it. So this is a kind of an exercise I've done uh, with a fictitious plan sponsor and fictitious plans. These plans don't exist in the real world, but um, mirror some of the different plans that you may encounter out there in your search for a Medicare Advantage plan. So the plan sponsor is Solar System Health Plans. The first uh, plan I found was the Mercury 212, which is an HMO. The second one is the Venus 72, also an HMO. And the third is the Saturn 25, which is a PPO. The big difference between an HMO and a PPO is that the PPO allows you to go out of network and potentially get some coverage. Whereas with the HMO, you specify a primary care provider and then that individual doctor then refers you to different specialist labs and, and tests. And with the PPO column, you'll notice that there are two numbers there. The first one is if you use in-network services in this fictitious um, spreadsheet. And the second one is out of network. And uh, you must be careful with PPOs because sometimes there is a medical deductible that you must satisfy before you receive sometimes the co-payments for in-network or out-of-network. So carefully read the summary benefits and evidence of coverage on these PPO plans. Now, I am assuming uh, that with these plans that I'm only going to be doing a comparison if the plans have my doctors in network. Okay, so I'm not gonna look at a plan that doesn't support my doctors and hospitals. So all of these plans meet that. And you can put the star ratings across there. I like to do that because it is an indication of how well the plan is servicing the members, you know, customer service, handling claims, uh, getting information to you. So the higher the star rating, five being the best, uh, means they're doing a very good job from the standpoint of Medicare. So <clears throat> we have a plan premium. Um, many plans will be zero. Some of them can be more than that. This PPO plan is $39 per month. Uh, and whether there is a medical deductible and if that has to be satisfied. Most HMO plans don't have a deductible. You go straight into co-payments or co-insurance for most of the health plan benefits. Crucial for some people is the maximum out-of-pocket amount. And once you reach that in medical services, then the plan pays for everything for the rest of the year. So like on the Mercury 212, once you have spent $1,000 in medical services, then the plan pays for everything for the rest of the year. Primary care visits, the, the Mercury is zero to see your primary care doctor. The Venus 72 is $35. And then the PPO, Saturn 25, $5 in network, $40 out of network. So you can see, just going through there and listing all of those, you can get a better feel for how these plans are working. Inpatient copay, if you're hospitalized, um, usually it's gonna be a, a set amount for a certain number of days outpatient procedures, x-rays, labs, ambulance. That can be very crucial for some people. And emergency room. Emergencies are almost always considered in network regardless of where you go um, as long as it's a life-threatening condition. And urgent care. So you can kind of put all those together and kind of see, you know, some people have certain uh, health care challenges that require certain tests, uh, labs, and you can see you may be looking for a plan that has very low lab costs in it. Um, so it's kind of nice to put that across the board.
Now, prescription drugs. The prescription drug portion of a Medicare Advantage plan, and most of them do include prescription drug coverage, is separate. What you spend on those prescription drugs doesn't add up on the health side. It's almost a separate, it is a separate portion because you can actually buy a standalone prescription drug plan. And the prescription drug plans are just kind of goofy. They're very difficult to compare. But assuming that you know you don't have any huge, catastrophic, uh, really costly medications, you can kind of just look at what the prescriptions cost on a 30-day basis for the particular tier. And again, Medicare.gov does a very good job of kind of filtering out and then letting you know which drugs are covered, what tier they're covered in. But sometimes, you know, when you put that in there, it's always assuming you're taking that drug every month for the full 30 days. And that isn't necessarily the case. So you can kind of modify it when you do your own spreadsheet. And so you can see many of the drug plans won't have a deductible. You go straight into the co-payment portion if that drug plan is embedded in a Medicare Advantage plan. And you can kind of see the cost and if you know what your drugs are, and again, medicare.gov, you can put those in, will give you a feel for how much you're gonna be spending per month and on an annual basis. Now the coverage gap, um, that should be 25% regardless of uh, the plan. Some of them do have some uh, better cost sharing, but most of them are 25%. And then the, the catastrophic phase is similar. Another category of benefits within the Medicare Advantage plans are the supplemental benefits. These are services that are not covered by original Medicare. Uh, Medicare has allowed the supplemental benefits to be added by the plan sponsors. Uh, there isn't necessarily a consistency across the board on um, what is and isn't covered. And so if these are important to you, you really need to go through and kind of list them and see which ones are there, which ones are important to you and which ones aren't. And uh, so on this particular spreadsheet, now acupuncture is generally covered, but chiropractic isn't. But some plans are including chiropractic coverage. So if that's important to you, you want to know which ones there are. Many plans are including some form of dental coverage, but it isn't necessarily comprehensive dental. And you always need to check if you have a specific preferred dentist see if that dentist accepts the particular plan that is offered through the Medicare Advantage plan. Because if you wanna to go to that dentist and dental is important to you, but it's not covered in the plan, that it's really, it's nothing. You, you just wipe it out. And then of course, you now dental is a, is a big category. And some of the plans will include the endodontics, extractions, and periodontics. Other Medicare Advantage plans on the supplemental benefits, like we can see the Saturn 25, it doesn't cover any of those big dental items. It's just kind of the basic um, cleanings, x-rays and exams, maybe get a tooth filled, doesn't cover the big stuff. Many of the Medicare Advantage plans will have fitness benefits, some hearing, you know, depending on the hearing aids, uh, <clears throat> home and safety in the bathroom, in-home support services, meals for a short time if you have a surgery and you can't get out. And part of that is to make sure that you do not, or if you can, not, not go into a skilled nursing facility because like if you have your hip replaced, you know, and there's no one at home, sometimes you have to go to a skilled nursing facility because you can't make your, you know, meals and, and whatnot. So they can get that to you and it's far less expensive to bring you the meals than to have you in a skilled nursing facility. Uh, some of them are including the this over-the-counter credit where you can go to your pharmacy and get like cold medicine and whatnot. They give you like a, you know, so many dollars a credit every quarter. Um, telehealth, transportation to and from doctor's visits, if that's important, vision and worldwide emergency services. So there's a variety of things in there. Some of them you don't really care about, but at least if you have them side by side, you can kind of look at them and see, okay, I don't really care about that, but this one is important to me. 
But again, these supplemental benefits aren't necessarily handled by the Medicare Advantage plan. They're handled by a third-party organization. So you may actually have to call uh, or register with another third party as part of this plan to get those benefits. And of course, that, <laughs> that isn't part of the star ratings. <laughs> some of these um, third parties, the, the customer service is you know, hard to get someone on the phone. Others do wonderful, just wonderful. But that's something you can put in a spreadsheet to kind of put together and then look at everything um, and then kind of have a little bit better feel for which Medicare Advantage plan may work best for you in the coming years. So I am Kevin Knaus, an independent health insurance agent in California. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. I cannot answer specific benefit questions about any Medicare Advantage plan on the market unless we have a scope of appointment and all of that fun stuff. So you have a wonderful day and hopefully this doesn't get too confusing for you.